Hello YouTube, this is Knight of Canavan. I have another tutorial with you. It's for um how to make a paper smoke bomb. Warning, I am not responsible for any actions that you partake in while doing anything with this information. This information is for educational uses only and I take no responsibility for anything that you do with it. Knowing that, let's get on with the tutorial. Okay, so first thing that you're going to need, this is the most important ingredient out of them all. If you don't have this, you're most likely, well, not most likely, you cannot create a paper smoke bomb. Okay, so, it's an icy hot sleeve. Okay, let's go to Google. I'm going to find a picture of an, um, wait, did I say icy hot pack? I meant instant cold pack. Okay, instant cold pack. There we go. Okay. Instant cold pack is this right here. This little thing. This is what an instant cold pack looks like. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to tear off the top right here. And inside you're going to find a little, um, a little bag, a little water bag. Um, inside of it. It's just going to be pure water. You can just take that out, throw it out, you don't need it. Um, so, next, you're going to take the little crystallized uh, formations in there, and you're going to get a bucket. Uh, any size bucket would be fine, just make sure it holds enough for an instant cold pack and water. Now, with the water, you don't want to drown it in it, or else it'll dilute it and it won't work. But what you have to do is you have to put the instant cold pack material on the in well in the bucket and get just enough water to fill it up so that the crystals are um in water. Then you gotta stir it. Uh I suggest using some kind of tool that you're not gonna eat with because again, I don't know if it's very healthy to ingest this stuff, I wouldn't suggest that you try. Um, so, just stir it with something, your finger, I don't care, but if you're doing it with like some kind of body part, put some protection on it, like a glove, um, and then just stir it around until you can't see any crystals left. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna, got, is you're gonna wanna get a newspaper, uh, bring it outside, and the bucket. Um, then what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to um, put the newspaper into the water. Again, if you're using hands, uh, you need some kind of gloves, or you can just wash your hands off. Um, then you take it out once the newspaper is completely soaked. Put it on your um, somewhere to dry. Uh, I wouldn't suggest the grass somewhere. Uh, made of concrete or cement or whatever and just lay it down there then what you're going to want to do is wait for it to dry you can have as many um, newspapers as it takes uh, until the thing just has no water left then you're going to let it dry out on the cement once it's dry you're going to um, you're going to roll it up as tight as you can then put a rubber band around it or string whatever you have I'd suggest a rubber band it's easier and then what you're going to want to do is just have a lighter. I suggest you have an adult with you. I don't know if it's where it's legal. I'm not sure. Um, and just light it up. Again, have a, uh, a bucket of water around in case it gets out of hand. This is Knight of Canavan signing out.